OPMD Part 1. First of all, congratulations to all, all of you guys. Okay. Uh, first, I have a question to the winner, man of the world from India. Okay. Yes, I just noticed, I noticed facially you are the male version of Sushmita. Facially. I'll take it as a, a compliment by placing both. Okay. Anyway, what would be your immediate or your initial plan when you get back in India? Does your local organizer will prepare or uh, will plan a homecoming uh, present like this? Yeah, we have a homecoming thing planned already. And uh, definitely in India we're going to start it from the airport itself. But I might uh, go out in India. Because, uh, yeah, I've seen, I have already got the messages and uh, soon everybody will get to know what kind of uh, welcome is being waiting already. What would be your main concern when you started to work with uh, PEPS with regards to your uh, as, as the new winner of Man of the World? Uh, are you going to uh, spread your advocacy? The first thing is uh, the advocacy is uh, to educate people. Especially the after after COVID, we have seen this uh, children below poverty line. It is really hard for them to you know grab the education what is actually needed for their survival in this today's world. So what I was doing in India, I will uh, definitely get this to Philippines because not just India but also Philippines is my country now. So whatever my advocacy was in Philippines, I will try my level best to get everything to Philippines. Okay, that's. The man of the world title already sink in your head? So first was just uh, one solo me helping people with uh, all my adversity. But now it is, I guess, uh, the complete uh, responsibility of the title and also my organization. So now I don't just represent myself, I represent my country, I represent all the people in my organization, my team. So now it is us, not just me. Okay, briefly, how was your Baguio experience? I, I've uh, a lot lighter with it. I, I've always been in love with mountains. I really love to go hiking tracks. I, I'm born and born in a military background. So I've always loved that. So after, I guess, uh, more than four years, I went back in mountains after really four years. And uh, yes, the travel was hectic without any doubt. The travel was hectic for everyone. But uh, it is said very clearly, you have to die before you see the heaven. So it was something like that to me. Okay, thank you and best of luck to your next one year ring as man of the world. Thank you so much, sir. We will make it count for sure. Thank you. Thank you. What's next? Bon <laughs> Congratulations to all of you, four kings, the, the newest kings of Man of the World. Uh, my first question goes to Aditya. Yes, sir. Did you dream about it when, when you were a young boy back in India? I'm sorry, I dream about what? About this, this one, the winning one? I will tell you generally, no. No. It was uh, the time I started the journey. Uh, it was. The vision was clear that okay, fine, I'm competing to win. But more than that, I enjoyed the journey. It, it was really beautiful to compete after, I guess, three years. The, my last competition was 2019, and after that, I competed after three years, coming back to the morning world. So yeah, I really loved the journey. And yes, the motivation, the motive was to win. But uh, it was not like I have dreamed it, and it was like in my ego that no matter what happens, I have to win, I have to win. It was just every single day I used to get up and tell myself that no matter what happens today, you have to give every single ounce of your blood, sweat, and everything you got. Give you 100% and whatever is the result, may Allah bless you. One thing I want to support you, uh, Aditya and Adin and Vladimir and uh, Mr. Netherlands, uh, in spite of the very young age, you have, what's this, uh, death 
and wisdom at a very young age. Uh, oh, I noticed that to the four of you, actually. So, what advice can you give to your successors? I or just to start the future uh, beauty things. You think? I just want to tell you one thing that uh, never, lay, never let anyone mislead you. Never let anyone, no matter who it is, never let anyone mislead you. Have the perfect guidance. Listen to what you feel is right. Even that, even if after that, if you if it if you lose or something like that, you will not have a guilt that you did something you never felt to do. So do what you feel is right, and when you believe in yourself, yes, you can achieve anything. So just have a belief. Thanks so much. My last question: uh, What do you consider the most enjoyable, but at the same time the most meaningful experience in joining Man of the World 2022? Which one of you may answer? Sorry, uh, can, can you repeat? The most uh, enjoyable and meaningful experience at the same time. Joining Man of the World 2022. The most enjoyable and uh, joyful thing for me was uh, getting back into people of uh, same, same vision. Actually it was because, uh, you know, it is really hard for everyone, everyone in this room. It is really hard for you to find someone like you. Someone who is like, you know, trying to pursue the same goal what you have in mind. And I had another 22 candidates with me going for the same dream. So it was really good to be uh, surrounded with the people who have the same dream what you see every single day. And more than that, I really want to also want to thank all my organization to getting this dream. And so it was for us, it was like for this year, we saw it dream, but all the organization, they have been working for it for years. So working with the same people, with the same dream, it was kind of blessing too. Thank you, Aditya. What about you? Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. And once more, thank you so much, guys, for gathering here and throwing this interview. It's uh, such a pleasure. Actually, I... Uh, yeah, it works. Actually, what Mr. India said, what is the most meaningful and memorable, right, is when you gather between 22 different nationalities, a lot of different religions, mindset, every day the experience you exchange, every day the knowledge you earn between each other, you're like, you could do like this, I didn't know that. You could say like this, I didn't know that. So in this, 10 days or 11 days, I guess, we're together, I gain more joy and knowledge than I gain in an almost whole pandemic time. So that's why I would love to say to Mr. India and the other top five and the other 22 brothers, thank you so much for giving me this because even if I wanted to buy it, I'm, when I'm gonna be super rich one day, I believe so, you can buy it. The value and experience is most valuable in the world that you can't buy, doesn't matter how much money you have. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that. I have to repeat the question, please. <laughs> uh, so, I'm uh, uh, to you all the time, so yeah, go ahead. Okay. What do you consider the most memorable, and at the same time, the most enjoyable experience during Man of the World 2022? 22 candidates being in one country and they pick Philippines being the host. So that's the most joyable thing. Learning a part of our culture. Like this gentleman, thank you. It's my first time to wear the Bahag and I'm a Filipino, so I, they thought they thought that it's not my first time wearing it. So I told, come on guys, let's learn this culture together. And at the same time, we used to tell about other sculptures, so it was similar to the Baha'i. And being between so many countries in one room and gathering each other and saying about like learning from one another, speechless. Like it's more, you can gain the knowledge and inspire others at the same time. And uh, yeah, meeting them and talking and we had an adventure, we had a grass, Congratulations, India. <laughs> Thank you. So, congratulations to you all, of course. And uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you. I'm going to be this proud of you. Last answer from Mr. Netherlands.
Good evening everyone, thanks for being here first of all. Uh, yeah, what the guy said, I totally agree with that. Um, if I have to pick uh, a moment specifically, then I would choose the moment where we travel to, uh, to the mountains. Uh, and just had a long walk to see uh, many kids playing around uh, in their neighbor to visit the old lady, the famous uh, tattoo artist. That really, uh, especially those kids, make a uh, really impact on me because uh, in my in my country, the Netherlands, we yeah we we have it good and we we take it uh, for example, granted that you go to school, you find a job, and those kids uh, may even know about that. They're still having fun uh, on there. Yeah, on their behavior, and I think in the end that is uh, why we do this. That is why we travel there, and that's in the end uh, our goal to yeah to just make them happy and to see them happy was uh, for me personally really uh, really important. Again, congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Celso Papadas for the Star Blogger. I would like to ask uh, Mr. Netherlands, Mr. Ukraine and India, what will you tell your countrymen to convince them to visit the Philippines? To travel to the Philippines? Yes. What will you tell them uh, so that they will be convinced to visit the Philippines? I will definitely warn them for your enthusiasm, guys, because when I arrived, the first thing I was heard uh, you are so tall. I heard it like many times, and they are very, uh, they are really say it, very, very friendly on their own way, very close. Um, yeah, but I will say, uh, I really recommend the country itself, the nature. We travel a lot, so we had the chance to see also a lot. Uh, yeah, and I would recommend them to uh, to go to Baguio City, to see Manila, uh, to eat the food, of course, and uh, yeah, just uh, just have a nice time here. You know, I wouldn't even try to sell, hard selling to ask them to come here because I don't have experience when I'm here and I believe I traveled almost everywhere around Asia. Some people ask me, Vladimir, what are you doing in the Philippines, right? Like, why did you stay there? Why do you live here for almost three years? Well, it's as simple as that. I'm saying that every time the same thing to my family and to my friends must Magandang lugar dito, mas masarap pagkain, at syempre mas magandang mga babae. <laughs> and they're like, talaga? I'm like, oh, oh syempre, how do you got? Tignan, tignan mo. <laughs> so, and one of the other things, all over around the Asia, people here, one of the most welcoming. I don't know if it's only for foreigners, but when I just arrived here, everybody just want to help you. Everybody just want to be polite to you, and they are polite to you. And you just feel Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Taking on the consideration of the nature, beauty, and culture of the Philippines. More than that, I want to say even to anyone who will ask me why I should visit the Philippines. We have seen what I, I personally noticed one thing about Philippines. And Philippines is a country of love. Trust me, Philippines is a country of love. Every person I've met till date have met me with love. And the uh, world outside there, trust me, every day they are just waiting for, for love. They love to get outside, they love to whenever anybody will love, when people love speak to you with love, they take care of you. So anybody who is uh, looking forward for that, I'll tell you Habibi, come to Philippines. <laughs> Uh, what lessons have you learned in your man of the world journey that is worth sharing to us? Saying handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> so the journey that I learned, the journey that I learned is never stop learning from one another. Because here right now, I'm still learning about like little line is my roommate. He's talking about his country, country and culture. So I'm just listening to him and I start seeing that, yeah, it's similar as this country, similar as that country. So we're all united as one. We're all united as one. We're not different than each other. So yeah, that's what I'll say. Thank you. Okay. Last question for uh, 
um, if you will still remember, I am the one who asked you during the press con I in Rainford and during the press con, Online. Zoom press con in Easter College. My question now, do you believe that Man of the World title is a plus factor in your recording and acting career in India? Yes, I absolutely believe that. Man of the World, it, uh, as I even said before, that this is a platform where we get opportunities. And it is uh, also when we get, uh, we have the responsibilities, but keeping all that aside, uh, we cannot neglect the factor that yes, Man of the World is one of the opportunity, the blessed stage. And uh, after Man of the World, I have uh, seen, uh, like it's just been two days, I am still waiting for me to go back to India, but yes, I am, I, I got opportunities, I am blessed with the uh, people that uh, you get, you know, when it was before just me walking off for the auditions. But now the auditions are coming to you, so it is good. So the car is on reverse mode now, so yeah, that is good. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.